And in our top business story, the global economic crisis could have been averted if Islamic banking and finance had been properly institutionalized and widely used according to the experts. In an effort to further encourage and promote awareness for the system, the American University of Sharjah organized its first symposium on Islamic banking and finance. They say the system has been in practice for 1,500 years now, during which Islamic societies have been trading, financing and risk sharing and more. Based on ethical and fundamental principles such as risk sharing and the absence of interests, they say Islamic banking is for everyone and is not limited to just any particular group. International and regional experts engaged students, academics and industry practitioners, highlighting the importance of Islamic finance as well as the challenges it faced in the aftermath of the recent financial downturn worldwide. Only thing that has happened over a period of time, these concepts were not properly institutionalized in Islamic society. And when the Islam, influence of Islam in the world diminished, these concepts were lost. At that time, the modernist structures are coming, conventional banks were powerful. So the conventional structure got hold and the whole society started, the whole world started working on the conventional structure. Asset back, financial crisis would have not happened. And Islam, financing is all about asset backing. So if you look at it in that concept, uh, context and you see how the Islamic finance would have worked if it was the Islamic financial system. Then these transactions which were on derivatives, on which on a securitization, many of these transactions would have not taken place. Meanwhile, attendees were polled about the conventional and the Islamic way of banking, who said they didn't see or feel any difference between the two systems. According to experts, this reflected the main challenge for financial institutions and consumers, which they hope to help tackle by addressing any misconceptions and changing mindsets during the two-day event. We are doing this exactly because of the reasons you have mentioned. We are trying to promote Islamic finance because this is an industry that's growing very, very fast. We're now talking about a $1.4 trillion industry. So I think it is time for people to know about it more and to get to appreciate the benefits that this industry or this new way of doing business offers to the conventional way of doing business.